Hello everyone and welcome to another night of Dead by Daylight. I'm your humble host, StickMC, and tonight we are playing game 87 of Bubba. No perks, no add-ons. If you are new to the channel, thank you very much. Please consider giving a like and subscribe. I don't even know what it does, but I'm supposed to ask for it. So, uh, I consider myself a survivor main. And in order to prove this, I said, I'm going to try this killer thing out. But I'm going to try it in the most brutal way possible. I affirm, my, I theorize that, you know what, I, I don't think you need perks or add-ons. I don't think you need any perks or any add-ons. In fact, I'm not even going to bring maps. I'm only going to bring blood points. And I'm going to play 100 games of every single one of these guys and see how I do. A win is a 3K or more. A tie is a 2K. A loss is a 1K or fewer. I played 100 games as Trapper. I won 57. I played 100 games of Wraith. I won 56. I played 100 games of Billy before the buff. I won 60. I played 100 games of Doctor. I won 55. I played 100 games with these folks. And I had an unquestioned winning record with every single one of them. And they are all on the, the YouTube channel. Uh, you can even come watch me. I'm live on Twitch right now. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I won. You know, but hey, full disclosure, then I played Myers. That did not go well. Myers is the only killer who I currently had who had more losses than wins. And there are those who'll be like, see, you suck. Like, it sucks. You can't do it. Well, like, this one guy, no, I could not. But, hey, you know what? If you add my ties and my wins, I still have more non-losses than losses. I actually had a long discussion about this. I actually visited True's channel. I had a long discussion on this with True Talent and uh, one of the people in his chat. And they were real adamant that, like, no, it sucks. It's bad. You know what? Ties are not as good as wins. But they're still better than losses. That's my affirmation. You don't have to share my opinion. But... You know, quantifiably, two is better than one or zero. Like, this is a mathematical thing to me. Uh, would I prefer three or four? Absolutely. But, you know, in the world of what am I more willing to accept, ties are better than losses. They're just not as good as wins. So, I'll, uh, hey, the data's there. Had more wins than losses with Hag, though. However, I didn't have more than 50 like I did with these guys. Which brings me here to Bubba. And that's very, very interesting because right now, as of this exact moment... I am 43, 30, and 13. I am eight wins away, which basically means I need to win every other game. And I said that last night. Uh, and so I really, really need to win this game. And here I am looking at 100% blood uh, bonus points for killers, which means I'm probably going to be thrown to wolves who are better than I am. But I, I, I don't get to control... I can control what I bring to the game and how I play. More on that in a minute. Uh, and and uh, so what I do is, uh, you know, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one game of Bubba. If I win, great. If I lose, too bad. But I find myself wanting to press. And I'm not like a full-time streamer. I can't do this for my day job. Uh, 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 so I can only do this experiment under the confines of what I do, and I prefer playing Survivor, and I, I don't even know why. I win more than I, I win way more with Killer than I do with Survivor, uh, but it's 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 who I am. It's how I work. But uh, so I'm gonna play this one game, and I sure hope I win. And if I lose, I'm gonna be sad. And every every non-win, every non-win, is one step closer. But as long as I avoid losing, what seven more games? No. Uh, 10, 11, 13, 13 more games. If I just avoid it, I still have more wins than losses, and that's a winning record under any definition. So, what did I mean? What did I mean by, hey, I'm gonna do my best? I absolutely camp and I absolutely tunnel. Why? Because as long as killers can camp and tunnel, they don't even need perks, they don't even need add ons. As long as camping and tunneling is on the table. So, if a mediocre guy like me can win more than I lose without perks or add-ons and it, if they camp in tunnel, what's stopping someone who's good from bringing a meta build and camping and tunneling and just ruining the game for the other side? Like, what's stopping them? Now, some of you may argue, well, hey, I'm just trying to have a chance. Hey, you know what? The, the problem is, is you have that excuse. If you think you want to, if you think you need to, if you just decide you want to, you can do that. 
and the survivors, all they can do is just do their best to loop you, and that that only works such a, uh, so much of the time. If I get a guy on a hook, you know, uh, the last couple of games I had, or at least recently, I had a few games where I, I messed it up, but that was me making a mistake, not them doing anything other than capitalizing on my mistake. Check that out. This, this, this might not go well at all. At all. Um... If I ran Dead by Daylight, I would make it impossible to camp because when a killer hooked a survivor, they would automatically be teleported to the next most progressed gen. That would allow the killer to pressure the gen, to kick the gen, to delay the gen, to slow the gen. I would make it hard to tunnel, maybe base kit off the record. Then I would actually increase the speed of gens. I would increase the speed of generators to 120 base and I would do it that way because that is uh, if I can get a game to last 500 seconds I feel like I have a chance and if I can't get that game to last that long then I I, I usually lose so based on that data that's that's what I would be after that's what I would be trying to do there's a guy and there he goes he's just dubbing He's just dubbing, which is going to work for him to a point, but I don't think he can get this. And he wasted a pallet. If he doesn't get a lot smarter... Oh, that was good. Wow, that really delayed me. I mean, wow, that slowed me down. Oh, he just went back this way. He's really doing a lot with a little. Uh! But he, he looped through the whole three gen. Does a guy have, maybe if you have, uh, if you have, okay, that's not what it was. One gen done. But none of the... None of the ones that matter. And I'm pretty sure I can just stand here. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four, five... I don't, I don't... Well, I mean, they're pressuring gens, which is something. He's gonna get away. Oh, that sucked. That was my mistake. He did a good job. That was important. Max distance. Oh, max distance. But not max effectiveness. There's that, down to one gen. And, uh, one, two, where's the third one? One, two, three. 
Are you kidding me with that? There's that. And there's a quick heal too. What in the world was that? And how did it work? I don't I don't understand the laws of physics anymore. I don't I don't understand the laws of physics anymore and I'm going to lose. I might even just bring it back. I don't understand. That, that other chase, it really did its job. Well, there's that. Well, I get 1k out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and play the next... It's just so irritating, man. It's so irritating. So frustrating to... Like, he ran me great, and I made that critical mistake on the hook. It really... It really cost me. It really cost me dearly. But, like, what on earth? What exactly on earth? Yeah, by all means. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Give me a tie. I need a tie. I desperately need a tie. There's my tie. Thank you. Got that pickup so quick. Probably deserved it. Oh man, that was that was that was uh, not well played. That was not well played. What was that? One, two, three, four hooks. Thought I had something else. One, two, three, four hooks. One kill. No gens left. Three survivors escaped. That was Nostromo. That was just uh yeah like and I made that critical mistake. I had a guy uh, where I needed him, where I needed him to be, and uh, I didn't uh, maximize it. So I absolutely deserved the loss. I just, you know, it happens that way sometimes. So I, uh, I'm losing ground. Uh, now look, I'm 43, 31, and and 13. So it's not the end of the world. But let's finish the split. Let's see if I can get back on the winning side of things. Because again, I just need eight more, eight more wins. So let's give it a shot. Finish the split, and at least go from there. Maybe I get stomped. Maybe not. We'll see.